You mentioned that part of what got you interested in AI in general was hearing about Harvard students who were using it to fly through Harvard. Um, yeah. I, I, I thought a lot about this. It seems like it's one of those things that's inevitable. So if we fight it, basically, we're never going to stop the wheels of progress or whatever you want to call it. It's going it, to, it's too big of a thing. It's going to, it's going to happen whether we want to or not. So we either have to embrace it as it is, or try to figure out a way to work with it. And it's a little bit like when computers first came on or, you know, scientific calculators. And, you know, at first that was considered <laughs> cheating. And now it's like, oh yeah, you can use your scientific calculator to take all your tests. You don't have to do, and it's more accurate. And so we, we as a society come to embrace these things. What do you think is sort of a reasonable way for especially younger students i have kids who are seven and nine and i think you know they're they use computers way more easily than i did especially at that age or even now it's just much more intuitive to them so it it seems very clear that ai in some way shape or form is going to be a part of their education even in elementary and high school and for sure in college is there sort of like a, a lens through which you would advise people to look at AI and education? Yeah, that's actually something I've thought about a lot over the last couple of years, and especially with my um, department chair slash co-conspirator, um, the ethics of how we introduce these students. Because um, we have like not just, you know, your more traditional student population that you see in community colleges, which kind of ranges from like recent high school graduates to middle-aged folks trying to reboot their lives. Uh, but we mm -hmm. also serve like really big like, dual enrollment population where they're taking college credit courses in high school. Yeah. And it's, which presents its own challenges because a lot of the um, school issued Chromebooks these students have, um, have every AI tool on them completely banned and blocked. The, the challenge is to give them like a structured way to approach using AI in a way that supports their learning instead of doing the learning for them. And I've found that with traditional population, folks really do understand that ultimately education is about about learning things, even though we have, you know, we have pretty much trained all of Gen Z and, you know, Gen Alpha at this point to look at school as a means by which to get a grade, which gets you a job.